got the G.I. Joe Locust. He'll fry those fish. The Locust has twin machine guns. Drop the bombs! Tough it up for you, Cobra. A real American hero! Piranha and G.I. Joe Locust sold separately. Hello everybody, this is Master Joe. I'm going to review all the vintage G.I. Joe figure. To look at a chopper, his name is Locust from the year 1990. Well, this is my first vehicle in my childhood and I love it so much. And uh, this vehicle appeared in the comic books issue 105. At that time, uh, Wild Bill is driving this vehicle. And uh, also in the Dick Animated, we can see this Locust a lot. In the episode 15, the general confusion, we can also see this. Low Light is driving this. And also I keep the box here is also from my childhood in 1990 and inside of there there is a person I always confused uh, who is this person until I see there is a okay a sentence here with Cobra advancing on all fronts General Hawk orders the local to smash their lead assault vehicles and stop them in their tracks so I think maybe this guy is General Hawk, right? And until recently, I realized that this guy is not General Hawk, is another person here with the helmet, with the, the life jacket, and that guy is also the shirt inside of there is Topside. Yep. Okay. That is Topside. Right, so later on, I'm also gonna review this guy top side, uh, not in this episode. And today we'll just focus on this vehicle here. There is a C clip. Okay, let's top side it. Sit down there very securely. Let's take him out for a second here. All right, so uh, this is a very cool uh, vehicle, and also you can uh, army build this vehicle. So also on this box, a said, okay, the figures sold separately and weapons not shot. Uh, okay, why the figure so separately? Because, you know, this vehicle is like everybody's vehicle. So, just like M16 gun, all the GI members know how to operate. And this vehicle, I believe, is the beginner's vehicle. So, uh, okay, it's uh, the price is kind of cheap. And also, uh, all the GI Joe members can drive this vehicle. And also, this vehicle is so cool. Uh, you know, this uh, cockpit just reminds me of the ad 209 in the movie Robocop. And it really, I think this vehicle is in influenced by that movie uh, it's kind of and also we can see in the front is a beautiful artwork is G.I. Joe and also uh, down here we know that General Hawk orders the, the locusts to smash the enemies and also both sides is beautiful artwork and behind it there is the locust after assemble we can see here's the propeller and also uh, here's stabilizer uh, twin guns on the both side and also this landing gear and looks so cool and also here is a, a clear cockpit under there so even even if there is enemy flying under this uh, chopper, it can still spot that enemy. All right, so here are some okay information also in the language of Chinese. All right, so let's see uh, a, the instructions. Okay, so here is the instructions, and there are a lot of detail. We can run through them each next to. So first is a uh, aerodynamic high tech propeller blaze. Okay, this is a high tech part. And also second is a rear stabilizer for maintaining proper okay in-flight balance so here is the stabilizer tool give some balance to this chopper and also titanium supported damage resistant landing kits so this uh, chopper is based on a locust so just like the the grasshopper here is the landing gear and also his personnel transportation security platforms on the both side here okay and number five is a heat seeking low noise air to air missile. Okay, these are the missiles on both. And also in the inside, there are the bombs. Actually, the two bombs are just exactly the same with these two missiles. And number six is a propeller activation regulator on the top part here. Okay. And number seven is dual side mounted armor shattering machine gun on both sides. And number eight is blast proof, plexiform, transparent, windscreen canopy. All right. And also here is how you apply the stickers. Okay. And also uh, the assemble of this piece is quite of easy. The main body, the seat, the seat clip, and also the landing gear. Okay. And uh, the blade, uh, the cockpit, and also this stabilizer. I always feel this like an engine. Actually, it's not. It's just a stabilizer. And install here. And also this is the, the, the bomb door and also uh, the side gun and also the missile here. All right, so let's see the, the chopper here. 
All right, so here is the Locust. It is a very cool. I love the color so much. And the color is coffee color, silver, and also a little bit black here. And the copy is blue, just the color of the sky. And also this blade can rotate. There's no gimmick, just have to uh, the key powered blade here. And also uh, these two guns on the both side, they will uh, wear off sometime. And so it can be kind of loose after it played it so much. And uh, it's very cool. And like a twin, it can be a laser gun or a machine gun. Here is the handle. The figure can stand on this platform and also hold these guns. Well, see the top side can stand here very securely because of this little pack here. You can just plug it into his knee. And also he rest his arm on this twin machine gun here. Okay, it is very cool. And uh, also you can put another figure here on the other side. So uh, this okay, vehicle can accommodate three figure. One is the pilot, the other two are the gunners. Okay. All right, so let's see the cockpit detail. So there is, okay, actually there is a clip. So if you lift up this uh, cockpit uh, glass windshield, so it can stay there very securely. And also there's a seat clip here. You can put the figure inside of there. We know that in the uh, the older vehicles, there's like a backpack and plug in the figure's back. And this one is even more secure. And there are also some details on the both side, the inner side, okay? And also in the front, is two different molded details. We can see there are some gauges and they can read and to operate. And also the windscreen is transparent, also the top and the bottom. So uh, whenever there is enemy flying under this uh, chopper, so the pilot can spot the enemy very easily. And also here is a landing gear. Okay, just like the grasshopper, there are some uh, flexibility here. So when this uh, chopper is uh, crashing, landing on the ground, it will not broken. Just like in the general confusion, the low light is driving this vehicle. So when it's got shot from uh, behind, so it is a crash landing, but this vehicle is still uh, securely, okay, safely there, uh, thanks to this landing gear here. And here is the stabilizer. You can just rotate this part. So because when the blade is uh, just rolling around here, so the stabilizer can give more stability to this vehicle. And also here is the engine part. We know that the GI Joe vehicles like to show the engines. Some have the cover, some don't have the cover. So this one is very detailed molded engine here. Okay. And also this part can give this uh, vehicle more stability and there is a sticker there say the United States. Okay. Also, okay, under here is a, a door. Okay, inside the door there are two bombs inside of there. Okay, you can just let the bomb drop. So later on can do the bomb dropping a test. And also these are the exactly same okay missiles okay it is said to be a low noise uh, heat seeking okay missile and it seems that there is a chain also I can give some second explosion after it just hit the target they're exactly the same and when you open this door you can pull this uh, bomb inside of this okay compartment and there's a clip here just locking and also these two missiles you can just to pull these two missiles here Right, so all in all, this is a very cool vehicle, and you can army build this vehicle. And it is a very cool design. The color is great. It looks even better than the General's Locust. And also, you know, in the year 2000, there is another Locust that is a reissue of the Dragonfly and also the Taggerfly. And uh, this vehicle, I love it so much. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe to my channel and leave some comments here because your like, your subscribe, and your comments are my motivation to make more of these vehicles. And today is the first video for the vehicles. And later on, I'm going to make more of them. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.